Hello everyone, in today's video I'll be talking about some real legends that will give you chills. I would also like to welcome Dave and Confused because he'll be joining me today to talk about some of his favourite urban legends that turned out to be true. Welcome to Queen of Horror. Now I'll start this video off with Body in a Mattress. We've probably all heard the urban legend where someone finds a body inside of their mattress. Well, that has been true on multiple occasions. Many people have entered hotels to find bodies stashed inside the mattresses, but no one has ever slept on the beds as the smell is usually quite apparent. Well, this one time it wasn't. Guests at a budget lodge in Memphis were horrified to discover they had been sleeping on top of a dead body. The body turned out to be a missing person in the area at that time. Air freshener had actually been stashed inside the ceiling to cover the smell, which is why the couple never realised. I can't imagine how horrible it would feel to realise you had been sleeping on top of a body. Now I will bring in Dave to tell you guys about one of his favourite urban legends that turned out to be true. What is going on? It's Dave and Confused and I'm on the Queen of Horror channel. I love this channel, I watch a ton of her videos, and it's an honor to be here in order to talk about my favorite urban legends. So the first urban legend I'm going to talk about is the doll with growing hair. So it was about 1918 where a 17-year-old boy bought a doll for his two-year-old sister because the doll resembled her with her haircut and cheeks and everything. The little girl fell madly in love with the doll and wouldn't go anywhere without her. Unfortunately, later, the little girl did end up passing away, leaving the family with the doll. Well, because the doll looked so much like the girl and it was the little girl's favorite toy, they put the doll up with the photos in the shrine they made of the little girl that they can pray to. But then a crazy thing started to happen, literally, when the doll's hair began to grow. So to prove that they're not crazy, they actually cut the doll's hair and the hair grew back weeks later. They donated the doll to scientists in order to find out what exactly was going on. And what was concluded was the doll actually had human hair. The creator of the doll used human hair in order to make the doll look ultra realistic. And scientists concluded that the hair was actually from a little girl that was around the same age of the little girl that owned the doll. And so that could be one of the creepiest things I've heard all day. Thank you. Can you imagine having a doll in your house that's, they're, they're living, their hair is growing. Now the next legend is called the corpse prop. I've heard this many times and I'm sure you probably have. But I didn't realize that it was actually real. As carnival staff were moving across a hanging man prop, they knocked off one of his arms, only to find human bones inside. The body was actually of criminal mastermind Elmer McCurdy. The man that killed McCurdy was so proud of himself that he took his body as a trophy. He charged five cents to see the corpse, and people would pay by putting the money into the corpse's mouth. I really don't want to know how this guy got that money back out. Several years later, McCurdy's brothers showed up to take the body. Turns out they weren't his brothers, but carnival promoters, who decided to then use his body inside their own carnival. My next favorite urban legend is literally a story of a man waking up from death. So in 2007, which is what, 13 years ago? Not that long ago, a man was fatally killed in a car accident. Now after ambulances and police came to the scene, they pronounced him dead on the scene. Well, after being pronounced DOA, they basically took the body right to the morticians. And then the morticians started to do his job, which is the autopsy of the dead body. And just as the knife started to cut into his skin, the man started to stir and woke up. And literally said that it was the amount of pain that he was in from the knife that woke him up. And a crazy part of this is the man's wife, who got the call saying that her husband had passed through this car accident, showed up at the mortician's place to see her husband alive, sitting on a slab, kind of like, what the hell happened here? So it just goes to show, sometimes dead isn't always dead. Well, those are my favorite urban legends on the Queen of Horror channel. Thank you so much for having me 
I hope to see you on my channel, Dave the Confused, and uh, maybe you might see me here again. And when you're done this video, go over to my channel and check out the Queen of Horror talking about her favorite movie, Demons. Thank you so much, and uh, these are dogs now, werewolves. Peace. Thank you, Dave, for coming onto my channel. I will link his channel down below so you guys can go check him out. Now this next but last one is the urban legend, don't drink the water. The legend goes a family moves into a new home to find that water has gone dark and a yuck colour and it doesn't smell right. So they go to investigate and find a dead body in their water tank. While this actually happened in a hotel and the water had no colour, just a funny taste. So guests have been drinking this water for god knows how long. When guests realized the water tasted funny, they started making complaints. And when the hotel looked into it, they found the decomposing body of Elisa Lamb inside their water tank. Now the story is disturbing enough without seeing the footage that came before her death. This isn't really a part of the urban legend, but I had to add this in here because it's really creepy. Now inside this video, I had to point out the fact that the elevator doors don't seem to close while she's in the elevator. She seems to be trying to get away from something, but she can't because the elevator won't move. It won't close. And then as soon as she leaves, the elevator door closes. It really makes no sense, which makes this all the more creepy. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, like and subscribe. I will put a little subscribe button here and I will put another video that you guys might like right here. This is Queen of Horror.